It is day five of the reading rush. I don't know how I'm still here, honestly. Maybe I'm not. I fell asleep again at 2 a.m. And I didn't wake up at 6.30 a.m., but <laughs> I did wake up earlier than I wanted to. Hello, good morning. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. How have you been doing this week? Even if you're not participating in the reading rush, how are you doing? Have you read any good books lately? Let me know. So yesterday night, my parents were like, hey, let's go to the mountains. And I'm like, but I need to film and I need to vlog. And they're like, let's go to the mountains. <laughs> so now we are going to the mountains. We have a house up in the hills. I mean, it will make for a nice change of scenery, I guess, but that does mean that I have like 10 bags of luggage because I need to take my camera, I need to take my computer so that I can vlog, I have to take clothes, I have to take food. It's a lot, but we are excited, we are happy, we are... First order of business is to let you guys know that I finally got my mom to choose a book for me. So the first book that she touched is the one that I'm going to be reading. Flashback. Hello friends. So as we all may know, I am only missing one challenge of the reading rush, which is to read the first book that you touch. And since I pretty much know where all of my books are, I have acquired the help of my lovely mother. And I'm going to like put four books in front of her and the first one that she touches Don't disappoint <laughs> the, <laughs> the first one that she touches is the one that I am going to be reading These are the candidates the perfect escape the gravity of us four days of you and me and if we were us So everybody say hey. Oh, it's Hi. dark. Everybody say hey mom. Should I? Yeah why? <laughs> I just love the title. Why? I do. What do you think I it's do. about? I don't know, but it's a question that I will, you know, pop to myself. So. Okay. Yeah. Hold it up. Be proud. Proud. I'm going to emancipate myself <laughs> if this is lower than three stars. Uh, I don't think it is. Okay. It's pretty. It's okay. Pretty. The title. Well, excellent. Good. Now we got our Yay. final book of the reading rush. Yay. Right, now that we're back, so I guess this is my reading plan for the day to finally complete all of the seven reading challenges of the reading rush. I also want to finish Bloodlines written by Rochelle Mead. After I left my vlog uploading, I did manage to read a few more chapters. I am in chapter 18, hi, which is page 254 as we can all see i am enjoying very much annotating this book and i'm honestly having the time of my life i love sydney and i love adrian and i love being with these characters and there's just something about rochelle mead's writing that is so addicting and so mesmerizing so i honestly can't wait to finish this this is where i am right now so I'm definitely going to be finishing this today and of course if we were us and now since I'm going to be finishing this today and it's only the fifth day of the reading rush what am I supposed to do for the rest of the reading rush should I just like go wild and pick up another book <laughs> like I already completed all of my challenges what am I supposed to do I might just take another book with me just in case I want to lose the remainder of my brain cells. I'm going to be keeping you guys updated. The ride there is like two hours and on the way there, I'm either going to be listening to music or listening to a podcast or reading a book. They're all really good options. So I will see what I'm in the mood for. I hope you're having a lovely day so far. I hope you're enjoying my vlogs and I will see you in a bit.
sneezed and flew ten feet in the air. Really? Guess who just finished their seventh book of the reading rush? It's me. Um, I just finished reading Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. I was just talking to Tiffany about it and we both feel like this book definitely has room for improvement but it's just it's just so good it's especially after you have already read it and finished the whole series it's just incredible it's amazing and it's so fun to be back in this world so i really really enjoyed my time reading this and even though it's not really officially one of my tbr books this does complete the challenge for read a book that matches your birthstone so i'm counting it this is my seventh book and now i am going to be reading the book that my mom chose for me for the challenge of read the first book that you touch which was if we were us written by kl walther right now it's 4 p.m and we are in the mountains hi i don't know if i mentioned that sir this is a mcdonald's <laughs> Um, so now I am going to, now I am going to vlog. I am now going to focus all of my attention on if we were us. Oh my god. If Charlie and Sage are meant to be, why can't Sage stop kissing Charlie's brother, Nick? Um, that sounds a bit problematic. We'll see. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go start that one. And yeah, I'm logging off now, but I'll talk to you soon. Keep going. 